time to cook. So it's uh, Friday afternoon. I am not working, as you can tell by my attire. I just now have a chance to film this video. Man, you can really get caught up with uh, phone calls. I've had like hours upon hours this week where it's just like, okay, next phone call, next phone call, next phone call with clients, partners, employees, stuff like that. But how did this week go? Um, you know, all in all, week went well. I mean, we're ending the fourth month of being in business. And uh, kind of a low point is this is the first month where, uh, first start of a month where I'm not having new clients come on board. Uh, totally normal. And, um, you know, stuff like this happens. I mean, especially early on, we're going to have low sales months. But to address that issue, uh, in May, I have like, I have at least 10 hours a week that I will be able to shell out for um, hands-on marketing work. So, uh, but I need to get some cooking juice. I hope you guys are wine guys and gals. I don't know. I'm primarily a wine person. I'm not a hard liquor drinker though. That's uh, not my forte, no. You know, part of the luxury of being a business owner is you kind of make your own schedule. I mean, look, you got to do what you got to do to make business happen. So I'm working 10, 12 hour days almost every day. But sometimes you get to have, you get to have better scheduled days. Like yesterday, I probably worked five hours. And today I got to the office at like, I uh, got to the office at 7.45 and left at 2.30, 2.15. So that's certainly like, what is that, six, six and a half hours? Yeah, and part, part of that reason is because I'm spending time with the wife and being a good dad. Like right now, Levi is sleeping. Uh, and if you get him to fall asleep in the car seat, you can then keep him in that car seat, carry him carefully, put on the sound machine, get it dark, and he stays asleep. So, But he's sleeping right now, and I'm on dad duty because Danielle's teaching dance. And then at the end of that dance class, she's going with a friend of hers to watch her alma mater, my alma mater, do a dance concert. So I am on dad duty and putting him to bed and finding things to do in between, like this. Sales were not super easy, but it's okay. I got this next month coming where I will have lots of time to invest in hands-on getting myself in front of people, which is basically the only issue, is getting myself in front of people. Uh, my conversion is pretty decent as far as people I get a hold of and uh, deciding they wanna work with me. So I just gotta get in front of more people. Uh, other good things is that after multiple interviews, I picked someone to be the third bookkeeper. Uh, I got to tell them that they are joining the team today and they're going to start in the middle of May. So um, this will solidify the core team of bookkeepers for Get Better Bookkeeping that if they stick around, we'll get to have for years and we'll help build the whole culture of how we do bookkeeping with all of our other bookkeepers that we add onto the team, which will be many more as we get to hundreds and hundreds of clients. And then finally, a good point too, is that um, I got to see an example of how you just need to be a good person to work with in order to make people happy. Because you can mess up and not do great on things, but as long as you're a good person, people like you, they're willing to deal with it. And I've got a client who's actually considering working with uh, another bookkeeping company um, that is like very specialized in his field and actually worked with uh, like an accounting development company to build this like industry specific accounting software for their work. But I got a text from the guy, my client, my current client, I got a text from him saying that this bookkeeper at the other company is a complete tool and he could never handle working with him. <laughs> so, I mean, 
Look, if you're just a good dude and you're easy to work with, lots of people will like you and they'll stay with you for a while. Which to that client, he stayed with me for three years while doing the coaching work and added on services with me for bookkeeping and looks like it's gonna continue that way for both our benefits. So um, that's the update in summary on dad duty. Got to spend time for that. Uh, didn't have a ton of sales, but I will spend a lot of time this next month working on that. Um, and just be a good dude to work with because then you'll keep clients and it'll be easier for you to close clients. So have a good weekend.